What's the difference between a sharp file and a dull file? A sharp file will cut a piece of steel with relative ease because the file is much harder and the edges are sharp. Very easy. A dull file only skips across the surface because the edges are not sharp. The file is still hard, but the edges are not sharp. It only rubs across the surface. Both of those files have been cleaned, but the edges are still dull on this one. Now that we know the difference between how a dull file and a sharp file cuts, how do we make this file sharp? We're going to use chemistry. By immersing this in a weak solution of sulfuric acid and water, we're going to etch the surface of the file. We're going to set up our sharpening station outside. The reason we do that is sulfuric acid fumes are corrosive. Anything they touch will turn to rust. So I don't want to do it in the workshop with all my good tools. What we're going to do is we're going to take these three old dull files and sharpen them. How are we going to go about that? Well, let's start. First we put on old clothes. We're working with acid and we don't want to ruin our good ones. Then we take a pitcher full of just plain old water. And we fill a glass. You always put the water into the glass first, because the rule is you always pour acid into water, never water into acid. We're going to use this sulfuric acid to form a 10% solution in this glass. To 12 ounce glass, I'm going to add about an ounce of acid to the water. You always want to add acid to water, remember. Don't go much more than a 10% solution. Now that we have the acid created, we're going to make our rinsing solution. The rinsing solution is your mother's old favorite baking soda. Baking soda is an alkali. Alkalis neutralize acid. The way we're going to do this we're not going to try for a 10% solution, we're going to try for a saturated solution. Which means I'm going to put baking soda in there, and then I'm going to stir it. That means I don't have a saturated solution. Put a little more in. It doesn't hurt anything to have extra baking soda in there. It's not going to cause a problem. Files, and I don't want the two files or any of the three files touching because that'll make a spot where it doesn't etch. You can see the acid etching away on that file. 